The first role, you've heard all about it already. It's the role of Chief Executive Officer, the role of being CEO of your life. What does that mean? It means that you're the captain of the ship. It's the most, in your name, Proprietary Limited, your name, LTD, you're the CEO of that company. And as CEO, your first role, or the first thing you're responsible for, is what I call the entire vision. The framework that we use for this is a ladder. So at the top of that sits the vision. What does that vision mean? That's the vision for your whole damn life. You get one shot at it. That's you looking back on your life and saying, I did everything, what I, everything that I wanted to do. I took action on everything that I wanted to do. Again, some people drift through life and they let things happen to them. Woulda, shoulda, coulda. Others, if you're the CEO of your life, you wanna plan your life. Now, your vision. What you should have with your vision is this. How on earth am I gonna achieve it? If you know how you're gonna achieve your vision, then your vision isn't high enough. You shouldn't be the person today that's able to actually achieve it. You should have to grow. So on the other side of the house with the canal, the C63S, yeah, the booming business, probably don't know how right now, right? You're not meant to know how. You, that's, that's the beautiful part about a vision. What also sits in your vision is like your overall ultimate wealth goal. Like what does that actually look like? Oh, I want to have, you know, money is a very different goal to saying I want to have $5 million invested in liquid capital at a 5% return with, you know, 250K a year or 20K a month so I can live forever and live a life on tap with my house paid in cash. That's two different goals, right? So just wanting, you've got, to, you've got to have a specific in it. You might have some ultimate achievements that maybe, you know, you want to write a book, do a marathon, do a bodybuilding comp for some of the boys. Maybe it's you, your dream, building your dream home would sit in there, your car collection, any experiences that you want to have, the business that you want to build. We're talking three years plus, five years plus, big picture vision and actually getting decisive on that. But one of the things I always say within it is, what's your dream business to build if that's one of your goals? And what's your ultimate wealth goal? Like you need to, def you need to define that and get clear on it. Because when you get clear on it, you can make it happen a whole lot quicker. So this is like the ultimate James Bond, fantastic life. You don't know how you're gonna make it happen. And you need to be truthful with, with yourself when it comes to vision. What is it that I actually want? What does my dream life actually look like and give yourself permission to explore what does your car collection look like where would you live we call it day one thinking if today was your first day on the planet based on what you know now and all the experiences that you've had what would you write in this list you don't have to know how to achieve it that's just your overall arching vision underneath that comes, what does that look like over three years? And over three years, you prioritize. Because you can't do, unless you build a Facebook, you generally can't do everything. You're probably not gonna have a wife, kids, house, car, mega business, you know, in the next, in the next 12 months. As much as there's a program on the internet will tell you in 28 days, you can do all of this stuff, that's bullshit. Most of my friends who've built successful businesses, it's in the fifth, sixth, and seventh year that they've really started to see the rewards. I exited my business and had a, had a good payday. That was eight years in. After eight years, all this IP and all this stuff, it all paid off. Eight years, so that was in overall vision. Now the vision is to take this fantastic stuff all over the world every city help guys kick ass and crush their goals. Underneath that sits 12 to 18 months. And this is my favorite part. In here, hope you can read my writing. You operation lines. Who here would like it 
or who here's the type of person that's like, give me a plan and I'll fucking do it. Like, who likes that kind of attitude? Yeah, hand straight to the sky. That's what this part is all about. Operationalizing it. That's where, that's what Mantastic is all about. It's about operationalizing the things that you have to do. How do you operationalize, by the way? You reverse engineer. You don't start at the start, you start at the end and you work backwards. This part is critical. This part is exciting. This part is critical. Because when we talk about getting two, three, four, five years worth of growth in one year, the only way to do that is by working hard and working smart. <laughs> and if you double down on your vision with a clear plan, what's the date today? November 16. November 16 next year, you can be in a completely different place, no photocopy of life, because the 365 days, you've been following a very specific plan. It's got an outline. So that's where it's really operationalized. Now, what's really interesting is people do that for a business. Some of you do that in other people's businesses for other people. Do it for your life. It makes such a massive difference. Underneath that, oh, wrong color. We, we call 90 days. And 90 days, whoops, gone wrong colors, is what I call a sprint. So at any one given point in time, we're always on a 90 day sprint. On a 90 day sprint, generally you're focusing on three outcomes. It's really hard to focus on more than three. So it could be your physique, could be your marketing in your business, it could be you're doing a particular course, could be you're studying something. But over 90 days, you wanna be on a sprint. And I'll talk about really shortly, at the end of those 90 day sprints, you can have a little bit of R&R, &R, take a week off, recharge. But when you start to apply this philosophy, apply this to connect, over the course of 90 days, you will literally achieve more in every area of your life than one whole year. It's a psychology, it's a mindset. This is key. Now, a couple of quick things. Before the end of the 90 days, at the end you want to take, a, you know, sometimes take a week or a weekend off. I like to take a week off. So for me, with Mantastic, it means five of these sessions, different cities, lots of presenting, all that sort of stuff. Then maybe like a week in Fiji or something. But pre-doing that, you want to plan your next 90 days based on your operational plan, which is based on your vision that you actually want to bring to life. Again, have the support and accountability around, around you. Then it really comes down to daily. And there's a million things that you can do every day, as I'm sure you would agree. But the philosophy that I have is called BNS. BNS stands for, what's my best next step? What's the best next step for me to take in those three areas that I'm focusing on within the 90 days? What's the best next step? because you've only got to do it, win one day at a time. Winning one day at a time over 90 days will put you in a different place. But what's the best next step? Sometimes the best next step is the one decision that you've been putting off that you haven't made, that you need to make to have that sliding doors moment to walk through the side of the other door so all the other stuff can actually happen. Just apply this philosophy to your life. What's your best next step? Operating your life like this with you as CEO, with the right reasons behind it, will massively, will create so much change in such a short period of time, it's crazy. But who's doing the work? Somebody else or you? Yeah, you're doing the work. That's what being the CEO of your life is. Being the CEO of your life means if you want something to happen, you have to make it happen. If it is to be, it's up to me. Pulling the trigger, I call it, like just making shit happen. So this philosophy is great and you need to map your stuff into it, but you reverse engineer it. 